This is Cyber signing into Command and Conquer. Yes, this is going to be the Wild Alpha, which I mean, it's completely wild because this is about the jankiest casting setup that I have just about ever had. And this is actually going to be live from Gamescom. We have John going to be playing as the GLA. He is going to be playing as the Junkyard General. And then over on the other side, on the top left side, we do have Moby from United Forums. So this is GR versus United Forums. And it is going to be GLA versus EU. We're going to be seeing which of these two players are going to be taking, of course, the very coveted crown of this random Gamescom match, which doesn't matter in any way. But it looks like we do have War Factory and skipping the barracks entirely for John. But it's already been spotted by Moby. He's got his scouting down and he's, of course, going to be getting up to his own barracks. So he's looking for, to go for a little bit of infantry play. We'll have to see what he decides to transition to. Immediately throws down the War Factory. And as you can see over here, we do have the command center being already built immediately by Moby. This is actually in direct result to a feature of the game which allows you to see through the fog of war until you build a command center. So other than that, we do have the first tech structure, the salvage bay going down for John. He's going to be unlocking the next tier of tech out of his war factory and just making sure that he's able to get some units up and defend himself against Moby. Moby most likely going to be going for some degree of early pressure. He does enjoy putting on early pressure just to kind of contain his enemy while he sets up his mid and late game tech and economy. So both of these players have been playing quite a bit of the Alpha. They have actually burst each other a couple of different times. They should be relatively familiar with what the other player is likely going to be doing. But we have John possibly with some oversaturation on his economy. And the first Humvee is going to be coming out for Moby. And of course the Humvees do require an upgrade that allows, pe that allows the infantry to shoot outside of them. We'll have to see if Moby plans to use that or if he's just going to be going out for a strike force. To, to ultimately just unpack his infantry. Over on the top side, we do have the first oil refinery going down for Moby, and as the fact that he's already built his command center, he's going to be not revealing that through the fog of war to John. So John's going to be looking to harass that, and hopefully both of these players actually have their volume on so that they can't hear me, because otherwise that would just be a little bit obnoxious. John going to be throwing down his command center right in his main, and as I said before, that is going to be stopping Moby from being able to see where he's building his stuff. As you can see, John going to be sending out workers around the map, loses one on the north side to Moby's uh, defense, or rather his rocket troopers there. But the first Scorpion tank is out, or the first Marauder 2 tank is actually going to be out for John. Going to be contending, Moby jumping into that new civilian structure, going to be getting a little bit of protection. And that Marauder 2 is most likely going to be going down. John desperately trying to run it away. We'll have to see if he's able to actually escape. It looks like he was able to escape, albeit barely. And unfortunately, repair mechanics aren't quite in yet. So this Marauder is going to be taking a very long time to auto repair itself back up to full health. Humvee rolling in. It's almost down. Gets taken out right there. John taking some nice hits here. Able to eliminate a number of units from Moby's army. Moby definitely going to be pulling back. But what is his follow-up going to be? He's actually going to be adding on an airfield, as you can see. And he hasn't set up his natural expansion just yet, but he is rocking those two oil derricks, which, of course, oil derrick is no longer a secondary resource in this patch. And uh, so instead, it's just going to be adding additional income to him. He's going to be going for his second base, which is kind of about the third base location. And it looks like John going to be moving out another worker to go ahead and set up an additional refinery. Just wants to make sure that he's got enough income to hold off the incoming forces from Moby. Moby going to be looking like mostly just focusing on his economy. He's not really doing a whole lot in terms of unit production. Just getting his economy up and rolling. We'll have to see what exactly he decides to transition to because that early pressure didn't really do a whole lot. John was able to hold it off quite well and as a result engage more efficiently than Moby was. John maybe with a slight advantage but Moby got the earlier economy so that's definitely going to be helping him out a lot in the upcoming minutes. His expansion almost done that does take over a minute to finish in game so he's going to be certainly he's certainly going to have pretty good income. The tech lab going down as well for Moby we'll have to see. It is going to be the first helicopter is now out it is going to be the Phantom which is a stealth helicopter and the one click support power Missing that tank, hitting it, but wasn't able to actually take it down. 
and the natural expansion almost done for John. Both of these players deciding to hold off on the aggression, but John does want to get a little bit of map presence and map awareness, sending out workers and marauders just to kind of scout out the map and get a feel for what his opponent is doing. Refineries have been established by both players, so they're going to be on relatively even economic terms. Both of them are going to be establishing that extra base. They both got those two refineries. They're familiar with how this game is running in the current build, the current super janky build. The Aegis tank coming out for Moby. But is he going to be using that in combination with his helicopters? Because there's a couple of different attack styles that you can go for where you just go either mass helicopter and just try to win the game straight up with just huge amounts of helicopters. Or, of course, the helicopters being able to traverse the or skip over the terrain. You can do some great counterattack sort of stuff, containing them with the tanks and then counterattacking the main with helicopters and doing huge amounts of damage. John going to be continually progressing with the Marauder tanks. He definitely needs to get eyes on the fact that Moby has that airfield out and he's going to be constantly pumping out helicopters, whether it be Phantoms or now adding on the currently not quite named Orca aircraft. John going to be taking down one of the oil derricks, which is a nice move there. The Marauder tank is going to be moving on, but with this, with the Phantom directly over top of it, that Marauder is not going to be doing a whole lot to Moby. He's not going to be too worried about that, going to be able to clean it up. But really, we do need to see some more black market artillery out of John. He's going to have a hard time holding off the helicopters. Of, oh, the first Phantom actually rolling up into John's base. Moby going to be going for the worker harass. She'll be, should be able to take down a couple of these workers, but the black market artillery, John, is he actually responding? He's not responding quite well enough. He does have a quad cannon out as well, going to be turning that around to try to deal. He has run in most of his workers, so he's only lost a couple, but he's currently losing a lot of mining time, but he was able to take out the refineries of Moby, which will be nice and force the repair on that, on the supply center. Oil there going to be re-engaging, but Moby getting a couple of more worker kills. One more worker does go down. John's only got four at his at his main base. He's going to go ahead and have to rebuild four more workers. As you can see, Moby going to be throwing down an oil derrick as well, just trying to re-establish his economy, which got hurt a little bit there. But overall, Moby definitely doing a very good job of making sure that he stays on top of his economy and making sure that he's going to have enough units to hold off John and really put the hurt on. Can, as you can see, we do have three of the three of the yet to be named Orca aircraft moving out across the map, and depending on where he hits, he may actually be able to do a fair amount of damage to John's natural expansion. It doesn't look like John has a whole lot of stuff there in terms of defenses. One over there did get eliminated, but John most likely looking to go ahead and take himself a third base. Which I mean, if he can if he can get rolling on those three bases and get up a proper amount of black market artillery, then he'll be able to hold off the the Orca aircraft absolutely no problem. They are going to be going for the snipe on the oil derrick. We'll be able to take that down. There's nothing John can really do about that. But he does now have eyes on the Orca, and he's and Moby actually going to be moving out and sniping down the worker. I'm not sure exactly where he went. Didn't actually get the order command to build that, but the. The quad cannon will it be intercepting. No, the orcas do turn away. Going to be cutting away from the quad cannon. The quad cannon going to be there just to go ahead and scare off those orcas. But the Aegis tanks should be rolling in any moment. John does have vision. The worker going to be getting actually taken out by the Aegis tanks, completely revealing them to John. But they've currently stopped. They're not moving in just yet. So John going to be forming up his defense. But will he be able to actually hold off? Oh, the Orca's moving into the main base. Will they be able to do any real damage? One of them taking a ton of damage. The quad cannon's definitely doing huge amounts of damage. One quad cannon is still going to be... Those two quad cannons eliminating all three of the Orca's. No problems. Moby going to be forced to retreat. The Aegis tanks being pulled off of the front line. Quad cannons, marauders, and black market artillery. John is looking absolutely great here. He's taken two of the middle oil derricks as well, a third on the north side. His economy is currently maybe a little bit ahead of Moby. Moby doesn't have quite the same amount of oil derricks, but they do have both the same amount of supply centers. Moby continuing to put on the pressure. He's got orcas and, fire and uh, the phantoms moving out, but he's forgotten about his Aegis tanks leaving them there, and actually the Marauders may be able to finish them off. The Quad Cannon is actually going to be engaging first, which is not exactly what John wants. He wants to make sure that his Quad Cannons are in the back, supporting the Marauder tanks rather than in the front, just taking huge amounts of damage. 
Looks like a couple of support powers going down. However, the Marauder is now going to be getting pulled up to the front. Aegis tanks being forced to run all the way back home. And Moby, can he hold off this attack? He's going to be needing some absolutely great positioning, maybe even just perfect support power hits. But the quad cannons need to be... Now they're actually in the back where they need to be in the front. Lots of damage on the Marauder tanks from the Orca and Phantom Her uh, aircraft. Quad cannons not quite engaging. It looks like Moby will be able to escape there without too many problems at all. And other than that, he's getting, he's got his advanced tech lab going on. It looks like he may have a couple of power issues. They need to go ahead and throw down another power plant to make sure that his production remains online. His advanced barracks being established at the natural ex at his third base expansion. Still hasn't actually curiously taken his natural, which I mean he's got the kind of hidden third base, but I'm pretty sure that was already spotted by John. The power plant going down there by Moby. And Moby reforming his front. He's got four Aegis tanks and four... Oh, the, the big engagement. John not really paying attention. The quad cannon does get eliminated. The Black Heart Market Artillery. Are they going to be able to actually do any damage here? No! Oh, Moby is doing huge amounts of damage. John is now going to be turning and fighting. The Aegis tanks all just suddenly get ripped apart. All but one just completely annihilated. But John's not looking too hot either. Is he actually going to be able to hold the line here? Moby pushing forward with the Orca aircraft. Taking out one and a, just one single quad cannon does remain the mo. The Marauders need to move out of there. Support power's coming down, raking in the kills. Moby going to be just annihilating that army. John forced to retreat, pulling back the Marauders. This is an extremely powerful attack out of Moby. Can John hold the line? What does he have going on back at home? He's going to need a huge amount of quad cannons, huge amount of black market artillery. He knows that this heavy aircraft play is what Moby loves to do. Moby getting the eyes on these Marauder tanks, making sure that he keeps eyes on them. And uh, looks like, I don't know if that's a pathing problem, but John losing an additional Marauder tank. He's got units spread out all across the map. This game coming down to the wire. These two players pretty evenly matched, just going back and forth. Really solid play from both of these players for Alpha as far as uh, Command Com is concerned. Orc is going to be going for the harass this third base up and running. The, they're just now getting vision. John has spotted the aircraft and the worker's going to be going down. Will he be able to actually snipe down the supply center? It's almost just more worth it just to go for the supply center because it takes like a minute to rebuild. And it's like, a, it's 1,400 credits to go ahead and rebuild that. It's quite a bit of money. Quad cannon's going to be rolling in, but one of them may be getting eliminated. No, the black market artillery is already on the front line. Orc is going to be getting eliminated. Three of them go down. One does still remain. Moby, although it's got five HP, gets eliminated by that quad cannon. The attack has been thwarted. John has held the line, but Moby has had the time to rebuild. Is he going to be actually taking his natural expansion? Not just yet. So John's still at an economic advantage. He hasn't necessarily been engaging super efficiently. We'll have to see if he's going to be able to really turn the tide in these upcoming battles because both players have taken a lot of damage, but they've also had the opportunity to deal a lot of damage. Moby really sticking to this aircraft play, building five more Phantoms, sending them out to the south part of the map, going to be going for another attack. But John has been reacting fairly well. He's got pretty good vision on the map, although going to be rebuilding that oil derrick, which will be getting eliminated relatively quickly by the Phantoms as soon as they roll up. But that will, if Moby decides to attack that oil derrick, it will give John an opportunity to respond. So John will have that extra bit of time to prepare to pull his black market artillery. There's going to be the oil there. Moby going to be throwing down the scan. He sees that the way is safe. He might be able to actually snipe down this expansion. Moby going to be rolling up. John has not seen these helicopters yet. And right there, the fire off does happen. John, is he actually going to be responding? His forces are all the way on the wrong part of the map. So this, oh, force the sell off. John going to be losing his third base. He still does have his natural. He, does, he still does have his oil derricks. But Moby with a really nice snipe there. The quad cannons, they show up and there's nothing left to shoot. The orcas, the Phantom's just going to be getting pulled back from the front line. There's nothing that John can do about that. He has gone ahead and brought up some insurgents. Going to be just upping the ante in his anti-tank and anti-aircraft. Going to be one more snipe for Moby, trying to hurt the economy of John as much as he possibly can. More Phantoms moving out, but Moby simply cannot rely on this Phantom play. Mixing it up with Aegis tanks is, of course, a great idea. But, I mean, I think maybe going for a counterattack, or a flank attack, rather, may be the best choice possible. Quad cannons standing by. John, curiously, not responding at all. That oil derrick going down over the course of the next couple of minutes. I mean, he could have possibly very well taken out a number of those Orca aircraft. Or the Phantom 
and then been able to move in after that. But quad cannons and black market artillery not making a move at all. John with the big push out. Is he going to be going for a direct attack? Could be looking to secure further expansions as his natural and his main are starting to run out of resources. Only about 5,000 credits all left on each of them, which will last quite a while, but John is going to be eventually looking to secure himself some more economy so that he can, 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 can continue his unit production as he's added on an additional barracks. Just going to be rocking lots of, and going to be rocking lots of units, but the expansion has been spotted. John's fourth base will be possibly getting annihilated. He does have two quad cannons here to go ahead and take down. The focus firing isn't the best, but two of the phantoms do go down, and suddenly Moby doesn't have vision. But the Phantom's going to be stealthing and getting a couple of more worker kills, but ultimately workers are pretty cheap to rebuild. They also build relatively quickly. Phantom getting eliminated right there. John smashing another attack, but Moby has got a number of Aegis tanks in the middle of the map. Is he going to be able to do a huge amount of damage? More Phantom attacks. These counterattacks are exactly what Moby needs to put himself back in this game. If he can snipe down the supply center at the natural expansion, he could be doing absolutely massive economic damage. John cannot afford to lose this expansion at the natural. And at the same time, the Aegis tank's going to be taken down what was the fourth base, now is really the third base for John. John in a serious amount of trouble. His army was absolutely out of position. The quad cannons do go down, but now the Aegis tanks are going to be getting eliminated one by one. The Marauder tanks are going to be able to focus down one of the Aegis tanks from Moby. Moby going to be pulling around, responding very well. He's like, well, I'm not going to be forcing an engagement there where I'm absolutely going to lose. I'm going to go ahead and engage in a more favorable location. Moving on and his phantoms rolling into the base. The quad cannons are here to defend, but John, will he actually be able to respond in time? The phantoms can just jump right over, and if Moby doesn't feel it's safe to, to, uh, to engage there, he doesn't have to at all. But Moby going to be forming up his tanks, and with the combination of these tanks at the front and then aircraft, if Moby decides to go for a counterattack, it could be doing absolutely huge amounts of damage. Going to be picking off the third base once again. Moby staying on top of this harass, definitely keeping himself in this game after taking quite a bit of damage from Jack, from John. But uh, Jack is actually here taking pictures, but that's another story. John going to be continuing to pump out just tons of marauders, but ultimately, if these, if he wants to survive against this heavier aircraft play out of Moby, the counterattack from John, he's going to need more quad cannons, more black market artillery. John not optimizing his forces as well as he could. He's actually going to be splitting a number of his forces to go ahead and do various things. One expansion does get smashed. Moby doesn't have a whole lot of economy, so that's a huge, huge deal. It may actually be making up for the economic damage that Moby has done, but at the same time, in the main base of John, Moby's going to be tearing stuff up. The quad cannons are here to defend, and they're in good enough numbers to where John may be able to hold off the main while pressuring the main of Moby. No, the attacks have both stopped. Both of these players going to be like, well, that, that kind of sounds like a bad idea, so we'll go ahead and pull back. But Moby actually going to be engaging in a single file line. That's absolutely terrible for him, as John Tanks have already got a pretty nice concave and going to be rolling up the damage. Looks like an EMP did go off there. John going to be able to rake in a couple of more kills while in the meantime, in Moby's main base, he doesn't have a whole lot left. We'll have to see. He's got a ton of helicopters, but will he be able to actually hold off this massive army from John? John smashing down the economy, which will be a really nice lead for him in the next couple of minutes. But can he actually establish his own economy that Moby has been doing a great job of absolutely destroying time and time again, just constantly harassing? Here comes the nuclear apocalypse, support power, whatever it's actually called. Reigns in, does almost absolutely nothing. John wasting that almost entirely. But he was able to kind of force the, force the engagement there as Moby didn't want to get hit by that and splitting up his forces, but now the Phantoms are going to be rolling in to engage. They're getting kind of separated here. They're not all engaging at the same time, and the Black Market Artillery and the Quad Cannon is going to be able to clean up the majority of these Phantoms. A couple of more still do remain, but it's not going to be enough to stop this attack. John going to be just crushing through the defenses of Moby. Is he going to be able to actually push in here and end this game? Moby does still have an Aegis tank in front of John's base, but John should be able to hold that off. He's got a number of Marauders just sitting around at the front of his base. The Warfax Factory does go down. The airfield is going to be targeted down very quickly. And that is going to be the GG out of Moby. Game number one going to GR over UF. But of course, this is Alpha, so it's not exactly the most stable build. So it's not like this match actually mattered all that much. Of course, a big thanks to Moby for taking part in this game and John for protecting the GR name.
But this has been a cyber casting from Command Com, and of course with the super janky setup that we have here. And that will do it for this match. This is Cybert signing out.